Hey everybody, my name is Steve Moore and I'm the owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop located behind me in Westminster, Maryland. Thank you for checking out our channel and we appreciate everybody's nice support. If you enjoy what we do, give us a like and subscribe, it really helps us. Um, today we have a lot to get into, so I'm going to snap right into it. It is the Torin 5. It comes out June 1st. Uh, I'm recording this at the end of April and I was very excited to get these guys and see how they feel, how they fit, how they look, and we're gonna talk in a little bit about what a Torin 5 is, because the Torin, if you've been following the Ultra family, has had a bunch of different changes and iterations. So um, I guess we're gonna go back just a little bit, and I'm gonna put this guy down and pick up some other shoes here. We started with the Torin, and we had great success with the Torin, and then it switched over to a Torin and a Torin Knit. This was like three years ago. There was a little bit of a price difference, and the upper was different, and, different, and we had a Torin and a Torin Knit. And then the Torin 4 came out in spring of 2019. And it was a two year shoe. And for, for my shop, I think this was our favorite ultra that we had in here. I know like the, for a road shoe, like the Escalante was a really big change for ultra. But as far as like people just putting on a shoe and being really happy with the fit and the feel of it, for us, the Torin 4 was an awesome shoe. Um, and then last year they came out with the Torin Plush the Torin Plush 4.5. So it was a little bit confusing because it wasn't an updated version to the 4 necessarily. It was like its own shoe, but it was also called a Torin. There was a price difference. It was more, you guessed it, plush. Taller stack height, weighed a little bit more, different upper, all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't like the Torin 4 but was a dinosaur shoe and this was a replacement. They were both out the same, out at the same time. So for the last year, we've had a Torin 4 and a Torin 4 Plush 4.5. So now we're kind of doing some crazy stuff here and Ultra has a Torin 5 and it's not necessarily this. To me it's closer to this, but the word plush has been dropped. So now we have a Torin 5 that is a max cushion shoe and they jumped the price up to 150 bucks. So that was a big, a big jump for Ultra. The 4 had been like 120 bucks and the Torin plush 4.5 had been 140. So now we have just a Torin 5 and it is your max cushion, big mileage shoe. They also have changed the midsole and changed a couple other things. So now we have this guy that is kind of different from what we had before because the Torin, regular Torin, was sort of your mid cushion shoe. So now we have a max cushion shoe, high mileage shoe. Has the same, same stack height as the Torin Plush at 28 millimeters. So it's taller and more cushioned than the standard Torin closer in line as far as some of those weight characteristics and such as the Torin Plush. This guy weighs nine ounces. So that's really light for a max cushion shoe compared to some of the other stuff we have on the wall in that same family. The reason why they've made it a little bit lighter the way that we've done that is they've changed the midsole out. So now we have what's called an Ego Max. So what the heck is that? Some of the ultra, other ultra shoes have that same Ego midsole, or an Ego midsole, I should say. Stuff like the Escalante, the new Lone Peak, the Rivera, they have that bouncy, light, soft feel to it. And that's what this is, but a little more elevated. And we're gonna start seeing some other shoes from Ultra coming down the line that have this Ego Max. And they'll have stuff that is just Ego, and then Ego Max. And you'll see the price points higher, the, the amount of Ego Max, and all that kind of stuff that you would think with the name is included in this. So this guy has a lighter, airier, softer feel with still some rebound to it. So it's lighter, but it still has 28 millimeters of stack height like the plush. So this is gonna be a great shoe for somebody who's looking for an ultra shoe that they can run in something shorter and faster. And then if you were looking to do marathons or whatever, this is gonna be a great protective shoe. And because it is only nine ounces on the men's side, it doesn't feel like big and bulky. You know, there are some stuff over there on the wall that's in that same category. That's like 11, 11.2, 11.6 ounces. So this is a really nice change if you're looking for something a little bit lighter. It's springier, but still giving you that full protection with a 28 millimeter stack height. Um, because it is an ultra, I guess I should always say that all ultras are zero drop. So we do get that time from time. Is this one good? Is this one also zero drop? What's the bubble? So this shoe is a zero drop. Your heel and your toe are on the same platform, but it still has some arch support built into it. This is not a stability shoe. This is a max cushion neutral shoe. And because this is a max cushion neutral shoe, this is actually ultra's most cushioned road shoe. There, there used to be a shoe out that a lot of people like to call the duo, which was like Big, big, super crazy, you know, look like one of the big boys over here. Um, that shoe had been going away. So this is now your biggest max cushion shoe that you can get from Ultra. So this is gonna be your friend for all your long kind of stuff. One of the things I really liked on this update as well is the upper is a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna go back to my 
plus 4.5. Even though they're supposed, they're both sort of listed as an engineered knit mesh or knit upper on it. This one, um, it didn't quite have as much play with it, in my opinion. I, that was one thing I like on the four is I felt like I had a lot more side to side wiggle room in it if I needed it. And that's sort of how this is. You can kind of see, you know, even just the fact that you can kind of probably see that it gets a little wrinkly and such. And I didn't get that as much in that. So I, I actually feel like the width is good on this. I had been walking around the store, my demo set was a little bit smaller than what I typically wear, so I matched up size for size on a Torin 4.5 plush versus a Torin 5 um, and walked around and I definitely felt like I had more width in this guy. So uh, if you were sort of somebody that felt like maybe just a little bit narrow on the plush 4.5, I think you'd be fine here. And going back again, I think the Torin 4 fit really great. That was, I think for me, my favorite fitting road ultra shoe. While we're on the subject of how wide this is, this is this is pretty exciting for people that have followed the brand for a while. This is our first road shoe that will come available in standard and wide. I keep holding this shoe because this is the only color on the men's side that will be available in wide. I sadly don't have the women's shoe that will be coming out in wide, but there will be one women's shoe in wide, one men's shoe, and then you know other stuff that's in a standard wider fit ultra shoe. And again, this is sort of their more classic wide round toe box. If you compare like the new Rivera and such, which I think is nice and wide, it doesn't quite have the same width looking as this. This is the standard version of this shoe um, and it's still, let me see, nice and wide on this guy. So um, it will be wide just like the new Lone Peak that's out has a standard and a wide and we'll start seeing some other stuff that are kind of going down that line. So very excited. If you're somebody who loves the Ultra but have felt like it's just not quite wide enough, you will now have that option. So there's also a couple other fun things coming out with, on the on the Torn, the Torn family, and you can see like they've put a lot of energy and effort into this, and sort of rebranded it, new midsole, new upper, all that kind of stuff. They're also now finally coming out with a slip resistant. So this is coming out a little bit later towards the summertime, but this is going to be a slip resistant leather upper that's going to be great for somebody who has to wear that type of shoe for work. So like my, my wife is a chef, she's supposed to wear slip resistant shoes where she works. Um, this could be something that she could wear and still give herself the nice cushion and comfort. It does feel like a little bit different of a midsole and it's not quite as soft and squishy as this, but it has that nice wide fit. It does have a nice slip resistant feel to it. And there's also a shoe called the Lux. This shoe will be out a little bit later in the summer as well. Different sort of upper, still has that nice torn feel and fit, but just kind of a cool different feel to the on the upper. This one costs 155 bucks. The uh, all weather one will be 160 bucks. It does cost a little bit more, but there are a couple different advantages on that shoe if you're looking for something in that category. Um, thank you so much for watching our channel. You can always purchase our stuff down below. And before I forget, I actually we're gonna do a little contesty thing. So. Uh, if you comment down below on your favorite Ultra shoe, I'm going to pick a winner out of there. As long as you live in the continental US of A, we're going to ship you out some Ultra stuff. Got a little coffee cup. We got an Ultra face mask and blah, 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 blah. I'll even throw in a Run More sticker. Great for slapping your car, the neighbor's dog. Fun for the whole family. So comment down below on your favorite Ultra shoe and we will do a little raffle thingy and we will send out some free swag to the winner in the continental US of A. Uh, you can always use promo code RUNMORE down below and we will be taking orders on the new Torrent 5 and anything else. Use promo code RUNMORE, one word like my last name. Um, actually my last name is not RUNMORE, it's more, but RUNMORE, one word and um, save yourself 10% in free shipping. Any questions on this or anything else, leave it down below. We'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks. Happy running and as always, stay safe.